In this video I'll show how to update geometry after a clothing item is already finished and rigged and how to prevent losing the face groups when you update. I noticed on the top that when I turn smoothing on and off that a part of the edge of the top is moving more than I like. I'm going to set my mesh resolution to base and I'm going to export an OBJ to where I can edit in my modeler. I'm using Modo but it should be the same process in most modelers. I can turn on subdivision on the fly in Modo with my tab key so I can see what it's going to look l like in Dash Studio when I turn subd on there. I select my Genesis OBJ and flip the faces so that I can see on the inside where the garment polygons are sticking through the mesh. And then I use my push and move brush to adjust outside the mesh. And I just keep on doing that, moving all the pieces out. Then when it's all finished, I, s I export a copy of the OBJ um, and I like to keep in a copy of the original OBJ as a backup and then save this one to use as the import OBJ. Alright, so now I'm going to export it. I, re I save a copy of my original one and then save this one over the original. In Dash Studio I'm going to select Edit Geometry Update, Sp Update Base Geometry and then for this instance I'm selecting Update Vertex Position since the UVs didn't change only the vertex points. If I change the UVs I would select Update Full Geometry and that will update faces and UVs. Once it's updated save out a copy and then import it again to make sure that the smoothing algorithm used is the one that's updated. Load your new one and now when you turn smoothing on and off you'll notice that there's no movement in the mesh and I kept my faces and didn't lose any of the groups. <laughs> 